This is Rosemary, and of course I'm with the Shepherd's Whistle Farms, and this is the bag that we just finished felting. I want you to notice that the bag is smaller than my resist. Always remember, make your resist bigger than what you want to make. But also, I decided I didn't want my bag to just stay white, so I thought I would just take a minute and show you about dyeing wool, and there are all sorts of ways to dye your wool. And the best thing to do is to know the concept and then experiment with it. So you need a mordant or something to set that in the wool. Now some people will tell you, treat the wool, leave it in the morning for such and such a time. I do mine the easiest way possible. I just take my bag, I take my, my dyeing agent. In this case, I'm going to use black beans. And those black beans have a little bit of alum in them. Right here, a little bit of alum in them. About a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of alum in them. I'm gonna drop my bag into this container like this and I'm going to pour hot water on top of it and don't don't touch the bottom of your hot water container the way I just did right here I have black beans with calcium carbonate that's also another mordant that we can use this is turmeric because turmeric has its own acid it needs no mordant and so i decided i wanted some yellow wool to do some decoration with on my bag i'm also going to tuck in a little bit of wool just to dye it blue in there now once i get this water on my wool and i cover it up i'm going to set a lid on it and i'm going to leave it and i'm going to leave that for probably at least 24 to 48 hours to just sit there in the dye bath and that's why I don't need to do anything that happens too um, quickly by soaking it this way and that way. I soak this for quite a long time. I'm just going to swish it around a little. And in just a little bit, you will see the next time that we get together to embellish our bags that I have yellow wool and I will have blue wool from my beans and my bag will be blue. So that's about it. Remember that when you dye, you need to have a mordant with wool. Vinegar is a mordant for cottons, but it does not work well with wool. Calcium carbonate and alum, which you can find in your pickling spice aisle um, in the grocery store, work really well as a mordant for wool. And then just give it time and hot water. You can dye by boiling your wool for quite a few hours in that hot water as well. And that will help set the dye in the wool. So happy dyeing and um, try all sorts of things. Marigold petals, beets, cranberries, funguses. If you use a fungus, don't let it boil in the kitchen because it'll make you sick to your stomach. So make sure you're boiling it outside to get some good ventilation. But there are all sorts of things that you can dye with. So just experiment. Hi, this is Rosemary, just to show you the results of some of our dyeing. So I have some uh, beautiful golden wool that we got from dyeing with turmeric, which has some natural acids in it, so you don't have to use mordant with this, but this is just gorgeous. And then I also, from my black bean dye, I also have a beautiful uh, purple-blue bag from the black beans, and I am about to needle felt on it. So watch for the next video, and I'll show you needle felting. It's such a quick process, and it's such a fun way to add beautiful designs to your bag. And I'll show you how to put a strap on your bag as well. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.